Okay guys, so here we are. <laughs> I went ahead and put it all together, you know, the bone broth and uh, the beans are in there. Uh, and lastly, I did add this, some fire roasted diced tomatoes, which you can pick up at Aldi's. They generally have them in stock. Um, I try to keep extra in my pantry. Um, so you could also add to this if you don't do pasta, because sometimes when I have gluten-free people here, like when my brother was here and I was cooking for him, here's my stores of rice. I know this is, I clean my pantry and this is clean for my pantry. I organized too. I found these at Big Lots. So they're awesome for when I bake, but look at my canned stores. So I like to have things on hand for emergency, but I don't get carried away. I might seem like I get carried away with the rice because we actually do use quite a bit of rice as opposed to pasta at times. And it's just, you know, you can do so much with rice and it's a good survival food. And yes, for any preppers out there, <laughs> if I were storing these ultra long-term, I will consider um, putting them in some sealed containers. But you can see that I have made some moves to buy some rice because I saw when, you know, they were out of it. Oh, and also there's how I do my cans. You see the tiered system there and yes i know about the other great ways and how to rotate but i'm not going to have like a massive amount of cans on hand this is another idea um, for your vitamins these big lots very inexpensive like a, a tiered step i want to say under well under ten dollars for that and then they also sell these little bins back here so that you know you can organize your vitamins we have more vitamins than medicines but we do keep on hand for people that are still attached to them some cold and flu medicines <laughs> so um i know i i try not to use pharmaceuticals so i i understand but um, we, we do have them because some people are still attached to them. The last thing I'm going to add before I do the pasta is I did add most of the boiled water and I am going to go ahead and put all of my pasta in here. You can always keep your, keep your noodles separate. Um, also there's the, the great, um, oh, the other thing I added was a white bean. I found a cannellini bean in my <laughs> handy dandy uh, pantry there. <laughs> so I added it in. Um, and also clearly see the roasted peppers are in there because I wanted to simmer that for about 10 minutes before putting in some of the parm. This is also at Aldi's and I do have some fresh Parmesan that I, is fantastic with soups and pasta dishes, but I'm saving it for another pasta dish. So I'm just going to add in the parm, add in the noodles. I'm going to put this down for a minute so that you guys can see. Okay, so about half of the bag of parm so that people can, you know, add some more to their soup bowls if they want. Um, and now I'm going to add in the pasta after we get this nice and stirred. I like my, my little um, stir over there. It's like a flat metal whisk, <laughs> but obviously that the cheese will stick to that. So then I go for a wooden spoon or this a lot of times this because my wooden spoons I wash by hand so they don't get ruined obviously in the dishwasher so that's why this nice metal spoon and you can see you understand how much it's going to stick <laughs> now depending on how much stickiness you want you could also add in a but you're gonna you're going to get more stringy you could also add in the mozzarella or some you know romano whatever Italian cheeses that you may like or prefer. Honestly, I have done a little pepper jack before because I like the spice and I don't mind pepper jack mixed in with even my manicotti. So here we go, I'll put in the pasta. You can see it kind of simmering there. Did that for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the flavors could merge. And it's great, you know, like I was saying for like layered flavors, <laughs> kind of how the soup goes, you're kind of doing flavors a little at a time. Okay, so at the end of the pasta, 
there's more pasta juice, which is good because that will help marry all of the flavors, like I said before. Okay, the great thing is, is once this pasta was boiling, it boiled for a bit, then I took it off the burner so it wouldn't get too mushy. And um, trying to tape and show this. I have a tripod, but it's missing. I'm not sure if someone borrowed it because it's a great tripod that I got at like the $5 store a long time ago. I miss it. I'm going to have to start doing uh, a questioning to find out where it's at. Okay, so you can see how it looks and pretty much even now, since I already did all of the simmering and cooking and different layers, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, yeah, what I'll do is I'm going to use, well, I thought I would, but it's got a lot of cheese on it. It's gonna, so as not to waste another spoon, <laughs> use this as a tester, but no, I need to get out a nice clean spoon that, and I don't like taste and put my spoons back in. So I'm gonna get a taster spoon and I've used a few of them checking the sauce. So we're running out of spoons from me using them and I need to make sure people have spoons for tonight. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get away from the soup <laughs> so that, you know, Mm, oh my gosh, it's good. Okay, now, um, well, it's really good. I don't know if it's just ultra good because all I've had is coffee and water. I'm trying to think. Yeah, coffee and water today. Normally I would have had a little broth or something, but I was just way too busy. Yeah. While I was uh, finishing up the soup and between this simmering, I went to work on two other client orders. So um, just really, really busy today. <laughs> but being busy is good, right? Okay, so there it is, your um, Rosa Marina. Finally, I know, right? It only took how many videos because I started doing them in shorts. But if you guys have any questions, just put it in the comments and maybe someday I'll see it because it's not that I don't wanna get back. It's just that everything's so crazy, busy, and hectic with all of the projects we have going on. So I don't mean to ignore or not answer questions. I usually do get to them eventually. So um, any questions, let me know. Uh, I think I told you guys I roasted the peppers at about 425, put them on the very, very, I raised up my um, grate here. So you can see the distance between the top for when I had it on 425 because it was coming from the top down, that heat. And that was about 30 minutes. I probably already told you that. Okay, so there you have it. You guys have a great day. If you make it, tell me what modifications you make or how much you like it. Um, boiled the pasta with plenty of the Himalayan salt right here um, because you only get one chance to salt that pasta and get that you know salt in with that pasta so it's not bland and all these organic Simply Nature olive oil was um, liberally placed inside the boiling water so that's good stuff for you most of the stuff in the soup actually except for the pasta I know a lot of people don't eat the pasta but once again, you can use rice or nothing, no noodle or anything, you just have vegetable. But um, very healthy and beneficial with the herbs and spices that were used. Have a great night, guys.